there are no private homes being built in the big cities such as Moscow, Kiev, and so on at the present time in Russia. They're all these large apartment homes. Also, it brings to mind, uh, since he's visiting a home economics uh, building, how the housewife secures her food in Russia. Well, that uh, is different uh, in a way than ours, Dick, because of the limited uh, uh, facilities in the home, particularly refrigeration and space. They must shop almost uh, daily for their requirements, uh, any perishable goods, uh, uh, such as meats and poultry and uh, uh, that sort of thing, must be purchased daily. They have large open markets in which they bring the produce of the farms to these open markets, and they are uh, filled throughout the day with housewives. They're uh, picking up their staples, uh, uh, vegetables, fruits, and uh, the like for their home use. Well, Cap, yesterday, uh, Mr. Khrushchev and uh, the traveling dignitaries had a chance to visit a packing plant in Des Moines, and how does the meat supply and the method of procuring the meat to differ? Well, Dick, uh, that was uh, one of the requests that we made this year, is to go through a packing plant in Russia. But we were unable to go through one. We did see some of the meat that came from the packing plant. And it looks quite different than ours, uh, Dick. They uh, bring in the whole half carcass of hog. They will cut it up, hang it on metal hooks out in the open, no refrigeration in these open markets. And they uh, merely... Uh, uh, cut off uh, pieces at a time as the customer points out the particular uh, uh, piece of meat that uh, he or she would like. The uh, fruits and vegetables are all out on open counters uh, uh, with no uh, uh, refrigeration and uh, no uh, prepackaging as you see uh, uh, our vegetables and fruit in cellophane bags here in this country. It's uh, a day-to-day -day, uh, uh, shopping for your uh, food. Here you see a good cluster of the peace officers assembled uh, from various counties in and around uh, central Iowa. We noticed a Des Moines police car. Of course, uh, they've been in the caravan ever since it started this morning. Uh, Mr. Khrushchev, Madame Muscrava, and uh, many of the others left bright and early this morning. In fact, the lead car, the inspection car of the uh, security department left uh, Des Moines at 7.30. Mr. Khrushchev and uh, his party left at approximately five minutes before eight, traveling to the Garst Farms. We understand that Mr. Khrushchev has had a very, very busy day. He's been tramping in the fields, uh, taking a look at uh, what Mr. Garst had to offer. Gap, uh, being a farm expert, do you uh, suppose that he actually learned very much today? Well, Dick, uh, I think that was one of his primary interests coming to Iowa, was to see how we do uh, put the uh, finishing on our hogs at six months or less, and uh, the kind of feed that we use to bring these hogs to maturity and get them ready for market. What we saw in Russia the past two summers would indicate that they are desperately in need of uh, corn, such as we have here for our uh, swine industry and for our beef cattle. They need uh, even uh, above that of the corn, they need uh, protein supplement, uh, soybean uh, meal, and that sort of uh, uh, balancing the ration to bring the uh, pork to a good quality uh, uh, level. Here we see uh, Mr. Khrushchev, Madam Khrushchev, uh, visiting uh, one of the classrooms in the lower section of the Home Economics Building, uh, seeing the students as they uh, prepare for their various vocations. We, under, we know that Mr. Khrushchev was very interested in seeing Iowa State University uh, because of the touring Russians that toured the campus some five years ago. Another shot, the interpreter, uh, referring to Mr. Khrushchev, uh, what he is seeing. The girls uh, in the home economics division uh, continuing right on with their classwork. Cap, uh, you were here when the Russians uh, toured the campus five years ago, and I understand they went back uh, with a great impression of the college, now the university. Yes, uh, Dick, we uh, visited with uh, Mitskevich, who led that delegation over here in 1955, and he presented each of our group with a book that he uh, summarized his uh, visit to America and a large share that had to do with the agriculture in the Corn Belt. Here's Dean LeBaron, Home Economics uh, Division, talking to Mr. Khrushchev at one of the classrooms. 
looks from their cap as if they allowed a great deal of uh, photographers to travel along and gather pictures uh, in the basement section. Yes, and that uh, I, f I, I expect they'll take back a good many pictures uh, of their own Dick uh, to help them uh, remember and to help them analyze uh, at their leisure, so to speak, what they did see and uh, some of the things that they hope to uh, uh, put into practice when they get back home. Of course, here are the security cars, the cars in the parade that brought Mr. Khrushchev to Ames, waiting to take him on the rest of the tour of the university. He'll be traveling uh, a good many miles uh, yet before he gets back to Des Moines, where he catches a jet flight for Pittsburgh. Actually, Pittsburgh, the last stop before a weekend meeting with President Eisenhower at Camp, da Camp David. Of course, uh, all the eyes and ears of the world will be focused on that spot as Mr. Khrushchev and President Eisenhower get together for some top-level meetings. Through these doors, uh, Mr. Khrushchev will come. He'll come from the top floor. He went down the lower flight where you witnessed the pictures. He will make a circle of the wing and come back down the steps. Right here, he was watching the girls in action one of the nameplates where they were studying. I understand from outside that uh, there have been no placards, a very orderly crowd, as he was estimated the students at Iowa State would be. Some applause. Here you can see the snow fence holding the crowd back from the area Mr. Khrushchev would walk. National Guardsmen uh, started arriving on the campus early this morning. Of course, uh, the people connected with the university have been working uh, well over a week getting things ready for Mr. Khrushchev's visit. First of all, they had to find where the electrical currents were so that uh, when they put the stakes in the ground to set up the uh, snow fence that they wouldn't hit one of them. Here's uh, some of the photographers, student photographers, uh, gathering some shots that uh, they can take home, perhaps uh, later on in life to show their grandchildren. Of course, Mr. Khrushchev, this will not be the only stop. Uh, he will journey to the Swine Nutrition Farm outside of Ames, uh, where we have cameras also set up. Mr. Khrushchev will visit out there model farm, so to speak, or top level nutrition for the hogs they play. Cap, maybe you can tell me a little bit more about the swine nutrition farm. Well, uh, here he will be interested very much in our um, uh, development of the uh, meat type hog and the crossbreeding that we're doing here to develop uh, the higher percentage of uh, meat cuts from these uh, hogs to get away from the uh, uh, lard and the excessive uh, fat, although uh, they do need uh, the lard and the fat in Russia, they have reached a point where they're getting large uh, supplies of oil now from the sunflower, so that they are uh, interested primarily in getting uh, uh, meat from the uh, hog. They want uh, pork uh, just as badly as we want pork in this country. We we'll judge it. Uh Security officials uh, confronted some boys walking down the road with some black bags, evidently uh, nothing in them as they made them open them up, told them to move on their way. They are moving on through the crowd, to followed right behind by a security official to see that they do move to the back of the crowd, and of course uh, the students uh, jeering them and uh, uh, helping add to the uh, confusion as to what place out in the road. Back inside uh, of the Home Economics Building, still waiting for Mr. Khrushchev to come back from his tour. Highway patrolman uh, still waiting. Here as we look through the doors, we see students uh, uh, attempting to get a glimpse of Mr. Khrushchev. A sign placed in the window in Russian and not speaking Russian, uh, I couldn't understand it, Cap. I'm sorry, my Russian is very poor, uh, Dick. Uh, uh, 
Spasiba is the limitation of my uh, Russian, which means uh, thank you. This is looking out in between the building as the wings uh, jut out on each side of the home economics building. These students have gathered in what might be termed a patio, uh, looking in from the back side, waiting for him to come up the steps, board the car, and uh, go to the swine nutrition farm. 